my girl doing, huh? Say, Miss Dolly, what you doing, huh? You happy to be over at Pecan Grove? You like huh? your new home? Look at that belly on you. You fixing to have a baby, ain't you? She's pretty She's big. big. I would love to see her have twins this time. Well, I would like to see her have twins too, but she is all excited. What's my girl, huh? Where's my baby girl? Say, Miss Dolly, huh? What you doing, huh? This is all new to you? Is everything new? At least you got something to eat. You got plenty to eat over here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, girl. She's so big. I know. Look how big she is. Her baby's due within... Oh, probably next three weeks, I'd say. Two yeah. to three weeks. I'd have to go back and look at the uh, the date. But uh, I wanted her over here at Pecan Grove because over here, there's more for her to eat. I would rather her have the baby over here because most of my days are over here now uh, working, uh, trying to still clear land and you know work on the high tunnel, building raised beds and stuff like that because getting ready for our gardening season next year. And if she's going to have a baby, I'd rather her be over here where I'm at every day so that if, you know, if something happens, I'm here. And she was, <laughs> she was funny to load. Uh, Ms. Wanda was editing, so there's no videos of it. I backed the trailer up to the chute and the other cows thought I was fixing to feed them in the barn over there at Deep South. And Miss Dolly just kept standing outside at the gate, and I walked out there with some feed, and she walked in the little corral, and... Now, she didn't want to go in the cattle trailer to start with. She was a little bit nervous about it, but I just backed off out there and put feed in the trailer and backed off out there and sit down, and... And she loves her sweet feed now. So, a little while later, I heard that tail and feet hitting that trailer, and I was like, okay. I was like, okay, she's... Uh, she's in the trailer now. So I walked up and closed the door and she was sitting there just eating feed and didn't didn't think nothing about it. I drove over here. She ate feed almost all the way over. Every now and then she'd pick her head up and look around and like to say I'm just enjoying the ride. And I got over here and went to back up to the barn. She didn't even want to get out of the trailer. She just kept standing there looking at me and said, well, I want some more feed. Finally, I coaxed her out with some feed and she stayed in the barn there for a long time. So, uh, really, to be honest with you, uh, Deep South has no grass over there. It's been so, so dry this year. All the grass is gone. I'm having to feed hay 100% now. And I've got too many cows over there for, for what I'm having to do. So, I really would like to get candy and her little girl heifer calf over here. And and just that way I would just have three left over there to feed. And I'm going to be fencing in a lot more of this land you see way back in yonder, several more acres. I have ryegrass planted on a lot of it and these little rain showers has got it kind of sprouting and coming up. So hopefully, uh, you know, in the next month or two, I'll be able to have enough ryegrass so that I can transition them into a little ryegrass, a little hay, a little ryegrass, a little hay. Uh, deep south, I tried doing some stuff over there. It's just so sandy, nothing's really happening over there. So they're going to be on hay all winter over there, looks like. And uh, that's not, it's not a good thing for me, but uh, I, I had considered, you know, just go ahead and selling everything that I have over there. But... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of partial to my animals, and if I can figure out how to keep them, I'm going to keep them. But, you know, it may come down to the point where I have to sell what I have over there. Now, two of them, I'll be honest with you, two of them's going to freezer camp, the two males. Uh, they're just buying their time right now. I'm feeding them, trying to get them big enough that I can, uh, probably the first of the year, after the first of the year, we're going to take them and have them butchered. But over here, these are all breed stock over here. None of these are being butchered. Uh, they're 
very gentle cows. Everything I have over here is gentle. Now, I, I really don't need as many as I have over here. At some point, uh, I may sell Trixie um, away from here because of the fact that she's from the other stock and I don't want any inbreeding too bad, you know, so if I was to sell any of these, it would be Trixie that I would sell. And she's bred right now due to drop in, I think it's February, uh, somewhere around February, the end of February, I believe. So I'll keep y'all posted and let you know what's going on. But we now have Dolly over at Pecan Grove.